Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do June readings for all the zodiac signs. This reading is going to be for Aquarius. So let's see what's uh crack a with you in June 2022. Aquarius energy for June 2022. Hmm. We've got the six of pentacles here, the even exchange of generosity, the 50-50 deal, Aquarius. You want to make sure that you're receiving as much as you're giving. That something is fair. Aquarius. Hmm. Might have to fight for it, though. Five of swords. That's conflict. That's like one-upping somebody, winning at all costs. Hitting below the belt, not because it's true, just because it wounds someone. Because Aquarius, words can't hurt. But in this card... It's not two against one. That woman is actually handing him a sword. So if you get to go into battle, Aquarius, choose your weapons, your words, carefully and wisely. Interesting. To make something fair, you might have to fight for it. To, or to keep something fair. It needs to be fought for. Huh. Now you get the Ten of Cups. There's those riding unicorns off into the sunset. Emotional fulfillment at its finest. So to keep something fair and to keep, you know, contentment or happiness, it has to be fought for. And there is success in doing this. The Three of Rods... It's about taking a new course of action, doing something different. And not one, but two ships come in. In Aquarius, again, I think it's all about how you choose your words. How do you, you know, you approach someone, get your point across, you know, the facts, the figures, the numbers, you know, and kind of, kind of like come out unscathed. I don't believe that something has to be a bloody battle. But now you have the Queen of Wands. And that's uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Or somebody very fire-like. Now this person could have a short fuse. They're very creative. They're very passionate. Especially for what they do. And I'm kind of thinking that this person might have... A sharp tongue. So approaching somebody, you know, tactfully or tastefully, you know, needs some consideration here. Bottom of the deck, you get the nine of wands. I mean, nine of uh, swords. This is thinking about something over and over again. Losing sleep over it might even cause some anxiety. And remember, Aquarius, this could be the energy you're putting out there, the energy coming towards you. You know, friendship, partnership, love, ship, career, family, however this applies. But in order to get or keep something fair here, you're going to have to say something to somebody. Sometimes, somehow. It's about, you know, your happiness. You know, your total content happiness. Your emotional fulfillment. Aquarius, I do see you being very successful, you know, about this approach. And if it's got anything to do with a fire sign or a fire-like person, either you or them, I'm kind of thinking maybe them, might be thinking about that they know it's coming. They know that there has to be some sort of interaction here. And it could be, Aquarius said, you know, you know an interaction needs to be done, you know, in... Once it's done and over, that's your emotional fulfillment. That's your, you know, getting it behind you. I don't have to deal with it anymore type thing. Let's find out what the Five of Swords is all about. This conflict and choosing your words wisely. Tastefully or tactfully. Hmm. Get the storts here. The storts about, you know, travel. Yeah, I know. They bring babies, but 
it's about, you know, either being at one place or another. So you might have to travel somewhere to, you know, get your point across. Yeah, about thieves. <coughs> Excuse me. The mice in the barn like to steal the grain, and usually there's more than one of them. Five of Swords for Aquarius is confronting someone. Whoops. Whoa. That one came flying out. Again, we travel. So Aquarius, you might have to, you know, in order to get this behind you, get your point across, you know what I mean? Keep something fair. They might not come to you. You might have to go to it. You know what I mean? And confront them about maybe something that was stolen or taken. Or they would have to come to you. But I do believe the Ten of Cups is about, you know, not worrying about it anymore. Getting your point across. Making sure your point got across. And emotionally, you know, it's a big burden off your chest. Because maybe you've been waiting to say something to someone for a long time. And I think you might get your chance here. Let's find out uh, and be successful at it. Let's find out what the Queen of Wands is all about here. Queen of Wands for Aquarius. Hmm. Somebody who's been blocked. You get the mountain. Queen of Wands for Aquarius. The bouquet. Beauty. Fulfillment. Queen of Wands. The moon. Mm hmm. There is something that somebody's hiding. Aquarius, maybe this person wants to stay in the shadows. And in order to get your point across, you would have to go to them. I mean, this could go the other way too, but I'm really feeling that, you know, to make something fair, the 50-50 deal, when you choose your words carefully and wisely, you know, you know how to do it. You know what's going to get the most impact. That emotionally, you know, you can have that contentment, that emotional, you know, satisfaction and be successful that you got your point across tactfully, tastefully. Because you know this person's hiding stuff. And maybe you've been blocked because they don't want to, you know, have this talk, you know, or this meeting with you. But you know it has to be done. Because somebody's hiding a lot of things here. And unless you get them, get them right in front of you, that you probably won't get their answers. So Aquarius... Choose those words tastefully and tactfully. To make something fair, don't stay silent. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. And I'll see you back here real soon. Take care.